this and is really affected by this. Um, but learning more about it has showed me how much is, isn't told to the general public and how much you have to go look for information sometimes. It's not just given to you. Um, also, I found that opioids can cause constipation. So. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, I would say I just didn't realize, I guess, the progression from the prescription to the synthetic. And like, obviously, both are still huge factors. But I think that seeing how that has played out is very interesting. And it's also, I think, can be key of like how we fix this problem. Off of prescription opioids, and then hopefully the whole supply and demand thing will kick in and solve itself. It kind of gave me, I don't mean to bring politics in, but it kind of gave me a different perspective on some of like President Trump's policies too, because when he first announced his idea of the wall or whatever, I kind of saw it as like a segregation wall type of deal, but I see it now more of like a security wall. Um, that he's just trying to keep America secure and safe from problems like these. And so it kind of just gives you a new perspective on a whole different range of issues. So, so what can be done the yeah. yeah. future is bright if you know we have a lot of people going forward and looking into these issues and figuring out what we can do. And if the research is successful that the three hundred and fifty dollar three hundred and fifty million dollars is granted for, then the Death rates will start declining in the next four years, which I think is pretty cool. So. Thank you, ladies.